Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 3. Last time, we completed the Shrine of Kadan and picked up a 1 out of 1 bunny, which, if you recall, slows us down, so make sure you sell that. This time, we're going to head into the Queen's Chamber here in Aquaria. I just want to go over some of the items that I purchased last time. The uh, berry potion that uh, someone made for us in item creation, and the aqua potion. That's pretty much it. I also picked up a couple of uh, those while I was selling my uh, bunny there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, bring on the popcorn. It's time for cutscenes. It is unfortunate that thieves were allowed to enter Kadan. But at least the sacred orb is safe. Thank you for your hard work, all of you. We couldn't have done it without their help. Very true. All right, so what do we do next? They're intensifying their attacks. And now that we have defeated them at Kadan, they have even more reason to attack this country. It would appear that the only option remaining is to work together to drive off the Vendini. Yes, agreed. But how will we do it? The only weapon that might help isn't completed yet, and it doesn't have the range. What's the point of an attack that can't hit its target? That's you have to find a way to elevate the Even weapon. If we hurry up and finish the weapon, there's no way to make it achieve the range we need. We shall request cooperation from Erigo. That's different. I beg your pardon. You, your Majesty. If you had the means to carry the weapon into the sky, range would no longer be an issue, correct? Erigo has this ability. All we need to do is borrow it. A means for carrying it. Don't be stupid. The air dragons. Yeah, duh. Pretty obvious. Correct. Yes, but will they cooperate? Even if they approve our request, how are we to be sure that they will not betray us? He has a good point. We do not believe this will happen. The Vendini attack also dealt a great deal of damage to their country. Of this we are sure. They cannot afford to worry about taking our lands now. Furthermore, it was the warmonger Vox who kept pushing for conflict in his country, and he is now in his grave. The king of Eriglyph will understand. This is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. Your Majesty! That would be nice Let if that was actually the case. for their assistance. I shall prepare a personal letter and send a messenger immediately. Can I count on your help? Your Majesty. I'll go too. Don't you think he'll trust me more? I don't think a person from Aquaria could explain the whole picture anyway. This is true. That may be so, but you realize this is dangerous? Uh... Yeah, so? A little danger doesn't worry Haven't me. Haven't we just been involved in nothing Very but danger well. since this game began? Shall accompany you. Leave it to us. Elena. You are to hurry and prepare the Thunder Arrow. Yes, Your Majesty, right away. Mirage, can you help her get the weapon ready? Roger. We are counting on all of you. Your Majesty, what should I do? Something useful. The two of you should wait until she returns. I shall have a task for you then. Yes, Your Majesty. Fate? Huh? Could we talk outside? Um, sure, okay. Outside? Are you sure she doesn't want to get us in a, a private room? Giggity. And I still love this song. Even without the lyrics. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a good thing that, uh, not that it really matters, but... It's kind of a good thing that the lyric, the song with lyrics doesn't show up so it's often so since peaceful. it seems to get uh, flagged instantly. Mm -hmm. Not that I so, care, but... Don't you have something you want to ask me about? A lot of things. Why is your hair blue? Why is my hair blue? Why is everything I'm wearing blue? I guess I'm white. I don't know. Not, I got nothing. Fine. Say. Yes? 
When did you become aware of your power? It's actually a pretty good Why question. Do you ask? Well, I mean, I'm curious. I found out because everyone told me. So I was wondering how you figured it out. A right. logical question. I'll tell you. It was seven years ago. I was 12 years old, Whoa. living with my parents on Federation Station 17. My father was a Federation officer, and my mother was a research scientist working on the station. Since both of my parents worked, I never got to spend much time with them. But I was happy. That is, until the war with the Aldeans took all that away. No, Daddy! Flashback time! This is a long flashback, by the way, so... I'm sorry, be honey, prepared. but we have no choice. Now listen to me. <laughs> this place isn't safe. They've already broadcast the evacuation announcement for all civilians. I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm laughing Daddy, that Johnny Young you Bosch is doing the uh, the voice actor I've for got his a job dad, to do her dad Maria. there. Listen to your father. It's hard enough for him already. Come along with me, and don't worry about Daddy. He'll take care of those Aldians, and then meet up with us on Eric. It's one way of spelling Eric. Really? I don't think I've ever you heard promise? it. Or seen it spelt that I way. Promise. You really promise, really and truly. I do. Little side note for anyone who's interested: Johnny Young Bosch, the voice actor Jesse, behind uh, Richard, there. Care of her. He, uh, I will, dear. he was, I think, the second Black Power Ranger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He was the uh, second Black Power Ranger in the original series. Don't ask me why I know this. I spend too much time on Wikipedia. Anyway, in order to advance the plot, I believe you just need to talk to her mother, which I believe Jesse's right there. So let's talk to everybody else first. Basically, that's all we're going to be doing for a while is talking to people, so... Make sure you talk to everybody, see if there's anything interesting going on around here. Oh, we got a seraph here. That stupid phone has rang twice since I started recording. Hopefully, I've been able to cut both of them out. We'll see. Anyway, who else can I talk to around here? Anybody interesting? Hey, that's pretty cool. That gives you a nice uh, kind of view of everything around you. Meh, cool. Let's talk to you. What do you got to say? Anything interesting? Well, at least everyone's being nice to the poor little girl who apparently had a very bad time when the war broke out. I'm going to give you about, you know, half a guess on what happened. Okay, a little bit of backstory there. Well, situation going on. And let's talk to Mummy. Can I, can I talk to you, please? Thank you. Okay, anything else? Um, considering she looks like pretty much a baby right now. Yeah, I'm assuming so. I think you have to talk to everybody at some point. It might be after this. It could be, but I don't remember. Whatever. No. Richard. That doesn't look good. A little more description would be nice. Though I guess having a silent scene to, you know, identify death What's would the Aldian make battleship a, doing now? A lot of sense. Depends, After I guess, attacking on the director. Federation Station 17, it set course for the planet Eric, just as we did. It's just a matter of time until they overtake us. I see. How come the captain Connect me of to headquarters. Adish is yes, sir. the same person, Going to the same voice actor as the captain of what is whatever it, ship we were on before? Requesting a change of destination, sir. Our ship is currently ferrying civilians to Eric. However, I do not think it wise to proceed there under the present circumstances. 
I cannot immediately authorize your request. We will study the matter here and get back to you. Maintain Seriously? your present course for now. You're gonna have them just go on a suicide yes, mission. And this is the Federation that we trust. Eh, that's mummy. Let's go talk to everybody else first. Twenty-seven ships. Oh, this is a big-ass war. There's a lot of ships going around here. Eh, what do you got to say? Guy who looks like a scientist. <laughs> Good thing that there's not too many people, otherwise this would get tedious. There are, I think there's another scene, maybe we have already done it where there's just, yeah, I think it was during the escape, there was just way too many people to talk to. Well, that's, um, not necessarily good for anybody, is it? Okay, I've talked to everybody, talk to mom again, and initiate the next sequence. That doesn't seem good. We're in subspace. Can't do that in subspace. What was that? Mommy? Are we being attacked? They must have overtaken us. It's too dangerous here. Everyone get to the escape pod. How come he's this an way? alliance soldier instead of a federation soldier? I don't know. Sometimes when I'm asking questions, I'm just being facetious, and I don't like using that word because I'm not a fan of it. But, uh, you know, sometimes I'm just being Look, a dick Maya, and I know we the might answer. Never meet again, Other times, and something I, need to tell I you. have no idea. No! This is one don't of those say times. That. Not a You'll clue. You'll get in an escape pod too, Mommy! One minute to warp engine core collapse. No, if I don't say this now. I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Which my may be about five minutes. Parents. Whoa. Huh? What are you talking about? We love you with all our hearts. Just as if you were our own child. But your real parents are still out there somewhere. Mommy, I don't understand. What are you... You don't need to understand right now. You'll know the truth someday. 30 seconds to warp engine core collapse. You are very important. You must not give up. You must survive. You have the power within yourself. 15 seconds to warp engine core. The music really collapse. does a very effective job at relaying I the emotion. You, Maria. Not to ruin the mood, but why don't they both get in the escape pod? Mommy! Mommy! Warp engine core collapse in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Not a very good timeline, is you it? Must survive. So sorry. Finding out her parents weren't her own at the age of twelve. And then watching them die. There's more. Yeah, like I said, you could definitely fit two people in here. Mommy. Daddy. They wouldn't both have seats, but I they'd both be alive. Whoa. Good thing this isn't Star Trek. I think I just watched one where they said the maximum amount of time someone could spend in an escape pod was like eight days. 
with the available rations. Normal. Unidentified there. ship approaching the pod. Uh oh. What kind of ship? Origin unknown. Transponder signal not detected. So, what do we do then? That's one way of responding. Am I dead? Mommy? This her? Yes. Oh, I she's see. She's quite weak, but she'll survive. She's an Earthling. So it seems. Based on our analysis of the escape pod data, it seems she's a victim of the battle against Aldian at Federation Station 17 the other day. She's so young. Poor thing. The Federation and Aldian destroyed themselves in a foolish struggle for power. It's always the common folk who end up suffering. That's why you created this group, isn't it? Hey! Uh, nothing so lofty. I just can't stand taking orders from people I don't like. So it was Cliff's group. There's more to it than that. You can tell me. Ah, shut up. <laughs> so how did Maria go from a completely destroyed emotionally 12-year-old girl to leading the group that was founded by Cliff? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> Apologize in advance if this video ends up being super long, but I can't oh, do anything about it now. Does it hurt anywhere? Where am I? Who are you guys? This is the sick bay of the spaceship Diplo. We recovered your escape pod when it drifted near our course. We're traitors. We just finished a deal and we're on our way home when we found you. You saved me? Yeah, you could say that. What's wrong? Are you in pain? I know that motion. I do that often enough. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all? Hey, Mirage, let's get this girl something to eat. Coming right up. Well, at I least see. they're nice about so it. So that's how you met. That's right. I was taken to the Clausian homeworld. I no longer had any place to go home to, so I joined their organization. You mean Quark? How That's the hell right. did you end up leading it? They told it, me it was a trading corporation at first, but it was actually an anti-federation organization. But that doesn't mean that it was involved in guerrilla warfare or in acts of destruction. We would assist planets affiliated with the federation or unaffiliated planets that were being pressured to join. In other words, our primary role was to act as an intermediary. And how did That's you become the leader? Though I Cliff doesn't really you know seem like the, uh, so the diplomatic well, type. There was an incident, and it just so happens that incident is also the answer to your question. It Otherwise, was four it years made after no I joined the bringing Corp. it up. Captain, we're on course for the planet Rion. Thirteen hours to destination. Great. So you're saying Maria's accessing the Federation database? That's right. So that's what she's been up to. I knew she was studying computers, but... The Federation hasn't detected her yet. But I'm worried about what will happen when they do. I stopped her once before, but she just won't give up. Thanks for telling us, So Maria. apparently that's going to allow them to track the Diplo? Understood. Thanks. Oh. And anyway, the yeah. uh, what is it? 
the other one problem? here, Marietta. Not she really. was mentioned by uh, Maria when she Just first touched don't down. Don't be too angry with her. I'm sure she has her reasons. Something about uh, something everything like being in her hands as far as piloting and you know That's the ship all? goes. Don't worry about it. We won't be too hard on her. Thank you, Marietta. You may go now. Hmm, apparently, Mirage is high up on the uh, death chart as well. Though there only doesn't seem to be very many people on this ship. What should we do? Should we call Maria over here for a little talk? Cliff? Nah, it's okay. Let it slide, then? Yep. Just like Marietta said, Maria wouldn't do it if she didn't have a reason. No sense in stopping her. Besides, Unless we I'd like get to caught. find out what she's trying so hard to uncover. And if oh, you had realized what, what she was trying to, to uncover, that would probably well, make yeah. you want to stop her right away. Her, but don't let her know we know, you know? Shut up, Cliff. Roger. That's it. That's what we get. We get Captain. a simple Roger. <laughs> Cliff. What is it? There's an incoming audio distress signal. It's coming from the direction we're heading, about 12 minutes away. Pretty close. Route it to the speakers. Hey, it's a fax machine. <laughs> or dial-up modem. Ship registry? Verifying data. Can't tell at this stage. Unfortunately, there's a lot of silence. Ship. I've got a bad feeling about this. Still, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. Hey, what the hell? That's Cliff thinking before he acts? Ah, what the heck. Let's check it out. Proceed Let's at think max before warp. Act oh, Position or not. is 50,000 kilometers from the signal location. 50,000 kilometers? Just in case. I want to assess the situation first. Roger. And we get to go to warp. That's always cool. Conventional space. Target location reached. No sign of any ships. No sign? That's weird. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's up. So what is going on in this game, anyway? Maria, do you know what's going on anymore? I don't. I don't think Cliff does. I don't think he's ever known what's going on. Seems to know, or at least knew, a little more a than, uh... A little more than fate, anyway. Full power to lateral engines! Emergency evasion! Creation? Energy. Whoa, what the hell? Finally get some action in here. Evasion successful. We're alive. I've been hit. So. That first shot had come from a phase cannon. Enemy confirmed. Going to screen. So, who are we fighting? Aldian? Bendini? Federation? I have no idea what this is. What is this? A battleship? Data analysis complete. It's the Invisible. A Federation battleship. Ooh. The Invisible? Great. Their newest model. That's not good. Damn, this is bad. They mean business. We won't be able to outrun them. Oh, we got a heart to I mean, something's about to happen. Down to 80 percent power. 100 seconds until creation cannon fires again. Apparently they have a creation program. cannon. I, I don't know what that torpedoes. means. Maybe Fire that's like, cannon. you know, in Voyager, it's a photonic cannon. I'm on it. It's a Ready BS thing like torpedoes. everything else. Firing I mean, phase it cannons. doesn't actually exist even in that universe. I don't know. Quantum torpedoes and phase cannons scored a hit on the enemy shield. Their ship appears undamaged. Their shields absorbed our attack. Hey, impressive. Only an advanced ship could do that. They're carrying the best shields. This is no time to be impressed, ladies. Here comes their third salvo. Eight quantum torpedoes incoming. Damn, they're giving us all they got. Damn it, 
Please report. Maria, open your eyes and get your ass to work. Maria? Maria, what's wrong? What? What is it? Hmm, <gasps> I think we've seen this before. Mommy! Mommy! That's oh, not what man, Faith said. Man, what a time to be having a childhood flashback. The first shot brought them down Switch to 82%, and now their creation the cannons. next one's going to do more than 67%. Warp us out of here the I don't we get it. Their shot. Star Trek logic. It makes no sense. Program switch complete. Course computed. Preparing to warp immediately after we evade their creation cannons. Didn't they say that no we good. couldn't outrun them? We can't avoid them. Um, apparently we already know that we can't avoid them. So we're gonna the get hit. The engine been hit. Warp engines down. Evasive actions impossible on backup engines. Well, we're bound. Damn. So this is how it ends. Sorry, guys. We're sitting ducks now. It wouldn't make a very good Starfleet captain. Cliff, he gives you're giving up. up? Easy. I don't see any way out of this. There's always Deus Ex Machina, which... Yeah, that's gonna happen. It's pretty much the way every Star yeah. Trek plot ends. Give up? You must not give up. You must survive. You have the power within yourself. Oh, she's still got that we gun. We mustn't give up! What's gotten into you? Magical Deus Ex Machina powers? Mirage! Fire the quantum torpedoes! But... Now! What the hell? Mirage, fire! Uh, Roger. Even though it makes no sense. We should have been firing non-stop anyway. Reminds me of a certain character from Xenosog, actually. Explanation? No, didn't think so. And I thought they said that Fate had more destructive power than she did. That was a top-of-the-line battleship. The other one was just some run-of-the-mill battleship. The enemy ship! It's gone! Uh... How in the hell? Where'd Maria go? Napping on the floor. Maria, did you do this? A little bit. Maybe. Yeah, kind of. So, yeah. Her story, kind of similar to uh, Fate's story. Backed against the wall, and then it just happened. That's what caused my power to awaken. Over time, I began to learn methods to exert a small amount of control over it. I still haven't been able to reproduce the power that took down the invisible. Anyway, after that incident, everyone wanted me to become the leader of Quark. That doesn't seem like a logical human, choice. A girl like this possessed that much power. And I have the same power? What's wrong? Are you surprised? Well, of course. And you're saying that I have the same power, too? That's right. I have proof. We've seen it. <laughs> what proof? 
I investigated the research facility where my mother worked when I was born to find out more about my own birth. I Makes found sense. what I was looking for and something else. A report of a terrifying experiment. Research facility? The lab where my mother worked at the time was a symbological genetics research facility inside <laughs> District 16 of Moonbase. Moonbase? Moon That's... That's right. The Line God Research Facility. My mother worked for your father as one of the lab assistants there. I was a test subject at that lab, scheduled for disposal. I still don't know why. She rescued me. That can't be. I analyzed every last bit of information in that database and learned the basic outline of the research. That's how I learned there was another subject who underwent symbological genetic modification, just like me. You. Well, makes sense, I guess. But why? That kind of experiment is forbidden. That I could not tell you. That's why I want to rescue your father. To ask him directly. I don't blame her. That's my story. I'm not asking you to believe me. But I wanted you to know. Someone told you something in an RPG. Let's which means it's father. true. We'll ask him together. All right. Ah, there you are. Hmm? Lady Nell and your friend have returned from Aeryglyph. Well, that was fast. Everyone else waits in the audience chamber. Please hurry. Well, at least we have something else here. Anyway, super long episode over now. So, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, they're, you know... It's super long. There's not much I can do. It's a long, long sequence. So anyway, next time we're going to meet you back up at the, get out of the way, at the uh, the castle there in the throne room, and then we'll continue with the sequence from there. That's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.